hello everyone welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm gonna show you how to fix rpc s3 unmapped memory adder in your pc so let's get started guys i have different solutions of this problem for your rpc s3 so do not skip any part of this video first of all guys go to search bar on your windows and type here settings go to settings and scroll down go to update and security go to windows security and go to virus and threat protection now go to protection history now click here on filters and click here and restore the files for your rpc s3 from here so i have no file for my rpc s3 and if you have a file for your rpc s3 over here then restore the file for your rpc s3 and after restoring the file you can fix the issue so guys this is first solution of this problem and second solution is go back and close your rpc s3 and go to this pc and go to local disk c and go to users go to username and go to app data go to v options and check this option hidden rms go to app data and go to local scroll down and go to temp folder and delete all files from here and it's done now go back and close it after deleting these files you can fix the issue for your rpc s3 and solution number three right click and open file location configuration folder and go to custom configuration so this folder is empty now reopen your rpc s3 and go to configuration go to gpu and advanced option and uncheck this option tfma and click on apply and save and if you want to create a custom configuration file then right click and create a custom configuration file and go to advanced and check this option and apply and save custom configuration now we have a new configuration file now right click and open with and select notepad from here now scroll down and over here dfma tap here false and go to file and save and it's done now close it and close it and restart your rpc s3 now right click and change custom configuration to advanced so this option is disabled apply and save custom configuration and if you're still facing this issue and solution number four if you are using newer version rpc s3 then use older version rpc s3 for your games in your pc and if you are using older version rpc s3 then please update your rpc s3 first go to help and check for updates after these settings you can fix the issue for your rpc s3 so i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys if you like it then please subscribe and like my this video thanks for watching